Pets on a plane, it's nothing new, but for those who've never flown with their four-legged friends, there are a few important tips to know before boarding. And here with advice to help pet parents with pre-plane prep for a furry travel buddy is travel wellness expert, Adita Satchel. Welcome to the show, Adita. Good morning, Aubrey. It's wonderful to be here with you. So let's talk about this. What's the booking process to travel with pets? How do you book a seat for your pet? Good question. So we need to contact the airline. Definitely, this is a must. Um, the airline will verify if your pet is actually eligible or can travel and where your pet can travel, whether it's in cabin or so-called cargo class, as I call it, right? And you need to inquire whether there are fees. There are fees. Sometimes they will make you uh, or ask you to buy a ticket. Sometimes they will ask you to pay a fee. But you that's the booking process. You have to contact uh, the airline directly. Okay. Now, are there specific rules or certificates that are required for pets to travel by plane, either domestic or internationally? The rules are that you need to, again, check based on the destination you travel to, and especially when you come back. So, for example, the vaccination certificate is important to always keep uh, with you, whether it, whether someone asks you to have it when you travel or not. You, you may be surprised. You may be unexpectedly asked to prove it. Sometimes uh, airlines will ask you to provide a certificate from from a vet from your vet uh, that your pet is uh, eligible and good to travel pets experience anxiety mm -hmm. doctors your vet may provide some additional instruction or information now what about quarantine is that required for pets especially when you're going to take them overseas so during COVID, pets were not traveling with us. Um, quarantine, quarantine applied to human beings, to us. There are still destinations that require us, human beings, to, to go to quarantine. And again, it's so difficult. And I know every answer I have for you is check <laughs> with the destination. But you know, that's the way it works. And some destinations may require pets to go to, uh, through a quarantine just along with with the owner right with the pet parent but again i mean I, it's so i feel so bad because i should tell you this is this that that whatever but this is quarantine just be ready quarantine may be still required for pets yeah no it is it is important to know where you're going and what their specific rules are and i know um adita when people travel you always say they should have a health and wellness routine is it the same for our pets Oh, I love, you know, it's to talk about health and the wellness routines for us, for adults, for children when we travel. But yes, pets should have a health and wellness routine too. Don't forget, they need to be fed four hours prior to the flight. They need to drink water four hours prior to the flight. That's the best practice. They need to be exercised regardless whether they are in so-called, you know, cargo class or whether they travel on your lap. You have to exercise them. You have to make sure like we get sick, right? We have emotion sickness when we travel. Your pet may experience the same thing. So be just think about it, be respectful of it and keep your, you know, uh, pet kids at, you know, on your mind all the time. All right, Edita, thank you so much for joining us today and sharing these tips with our audience. If you want smooth travels with your pets, you can revisit these tips on our website, yourcalifornialife.com.